everybody! In this video I'm going to show you how I did this resin dutch pour and created these absolutely gorgeous shimmering results. So if you want to see how I created this then stick around. Okay today I'm going to do a resin dutch pour. Um, I've done them on canvas. I'm using today a 12 by 12 a wood panel board. I've masked the back of it um, and I haven't masked the sides because I think part of the beauty of a Dutch pour is having the paint drip off the edge. So I've primed it with gesso. The colours I'm going to use today is um, stone coats, countertops, white base tint, um, Pyrolex pigment powders, salmon pink, Perlex powder, duo blue green mixed with a little bit of um, Bayo blue from primary elements because I wanted it a little bit darker. And primary elements, Snapdragon. I do find primary elements doesn't really mix. Some of them don't mix as well. And then this is, I've had this forever, Taranti dark gold bronze powder. And I'm using Stone Coat Art Coat. First of all, I'm going to cover the can, cover the board. And actually, the reason to tell you this, I'm using powders is actually I wanted to use a bright red from my acrylic paints but um, it, makes the, it makes the resin thicker. And because this, we're gonna be using a hairdryer, we want, we want it very fluid. So pigment powders keep the resin thin. And you know what, I'm gonna put a, no, I'm gonna go around with my hands on this, around the edges. And I've mixed up a lot of white resin. Okay, that's the only thing. I need more because I'm doing I'm doing the sides. Turn that round. Oh, I can't turn that around. The cup's stuck to the bottom. blow it. Just blow it with a hairdryer. Might make it spread better. Let's try. Yeah, there we go. Okay, um, I'm going to take this glove off. All right, my salmon pink now has a little bit of white in it, but that's, that's okay, it's gorgeous color. And I'm going to use this first. And I'm going to do a puddle pour. And then I'm going to use the blue These are gorgeous colors. And then the purple, which is, you can see it's kind of disappointing. I don't expect a lot of this to pop out. I'd be really surprised if it does. It's great in paint, just not so great in, in um, resin. But we shall see, it might add something. Okay, and then the gold, which is a gorgeous gold. And trickle that. 
I'll have a little bit more of gold. I like gold. All right. I'm going to pop the bubbles first. Yeah, that's definitely the way to go. Use the hairdryer. And right now I'm going to flood around it. And I'm now going to use my heat gun to heat the resin up because it makes it just a lot more fluid and pops bubbles. Until it gets hot. All right, that should do that. And here we go. I'll blow it this way first. See, it's a lot more fluid. And then back the other way. I'm going to let that settle for a little bit. I'm going to pop some bubbles, see what else happens. A lot of cells down there. And then I'm going to blow. I'm also going to tip it because I actually want more of it towards this way. and I'm going to put some more white resin in here so I can split it up a bit let that drip off the side I wish I had more pink in here, but I don't want to touch it. I could blow some pink, purple. Actually, the purple did come through. Very organic. Okay, I'm going to bring you down for a look, a close-up. I'm just going to pop some bubbles because there is interesting. All right, let me give you a close-up. So you can see all those little spidery veins some really nice cells going on there and the gold is going to be a lot more vibrant when it when it dries and actually even in even in this part which probably from the camera it looks kind of dull it's not you can it's got fine pink lines and gold and there's even some purple coming through it's actually beautiful pastel and then down in this corner we have some blue coming through you know what this reminds me of this reminds me of um, that fan coral and this came out absolutely beautiful really shimmery 
gold all over. Excuse that little spotlight, but it's a little gloomy here. All over. So, oh, there we go. That's even, you can really get a sense of the gold coming through. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next vid.